did have the chance to speak with Commissioner Musil today. I indicated that I would absolutely support him serving and representing this body under one condition, and that is that he remain uh, very firm with this group, uh, play the role of devil's advocate, and make sure that they stick to what they say that they're doing. I have some concerns, and I've had, we made some progress as a board uh, since my time on there, but I have two concerns. Number one, we did not fund them unless they were to bought, provide us with an update by the end of the year. Where's the update? Second, I learned today, actually I learned last night, via another person uh, that was sent that the company called, used to be called Wheelchairs of Kansas, also known as SizeWise, has relocated its corporate headquarters to Johnson County, and it's being uh, trumpeted as a win by the Kansas Department of Commerce. How is this a win? And when did the coalition know that one of our major employers, homegrown here in Ellis County, left? That's not good. So they have told us nothing. So either they didn't know, or they've been hiding the fact. This has been a continual problem with the coalition. So I support Sean because I know that he'll bring some fresh set of eyes and new enthusiasm. But unless we hold this entity accountable for its actions, it's not going to be good. And so, again, I wish you the very best. I know you'll do a good job. And if you want to speak with us anytime about if something raises a red flag with you, I, again, I told you, call me anytime. Well, I definitely would. I mean, I, I guess serving on it would be like you were, you know, representing the commission and stuff. So if there's something that I think that we need to be talking about, I would definitely, you know, bring it up. But um, I will say, you know, Aaron, you know, has reached out to me. I don't know, two or three times in the last six months, just to give me updates. Never had any word on that. I don't know if he had it. He gets the same newsletter from the Department of Commerce that right. my contact received. Yeah, so that's a little uh, frustrating. Can I offer one uh, response to the comment? Uh, I don't know if this was the coalition's opportunity to come ask for their funding for 2016 or if it was just a normal update. But we did have uh, scheduled for this month uh, an update on coalition activities. We also had the economic development policy revisions. And the, the coalition board wanted a, a, another chance to review those uh, revisions before we brought it to you to make sure they were okay with them. We brought them back. And Aaron, Aaron and I talked and we moved both of those to the first work session in January. So I don't know if that's the time when they plan to come to you to, to to see if you're comfortable releasing the funds for 2016 or not, but they are on the first work session in January. That'll be sufficient. We'll see what they say then. Okay. Thank you for the update, Toby. Thank you.